In Psalm 119, verse 160, the psalmist declares of God, all your words are true, all your righteous laws are eternal. God is the embodiment of truth itself. Everything he says is true and it stands the test of time. It's reliable, dependable, trustworthy and everlasting. Because God is truth and is truthful, we can be confident and secure. As we look in the past, we see the faithfulness of his word and what he's done. And therefore, we can be assured of the promises that he has made to us for our future. Our God is a God who says what he does and he does what he says. Perhaps the clearest evidence we have of the reality of God's truthfulness is seen in the person of his son, Jesus. In Jesus, we see the one described as the word who became flesh like us and lived among us. Through his life and teachings, he has made God known to us, personal to us, and in him we have received a gospel that's not based on blind faith or fantasy, but it's rooted in a real person and real historical events central to that, his death at the cross, his burial and his resurrection. These things are true because they have historical weight, prophetic fulfillment, and they result in unchangeable spiritual realities for us. We are saved, we are forgiven, we have eternal life, and we have a personal relationship with the living God through Jesus. There were two sailors in the Australian Navy who were on a worldwide tour with their warship, and after some time at sea, they docked in London. And the sailors got some leave that weekend and went on shore to enjoy it. But after some time wandering around this huge city, they realized they were lost, and they walked into a pub I approached the bar and asked someone standing there, excuse me, do you know where we are? Now, unknown to them, the man they'd asked was actually a very famous and prominent British naval officer who was very annoyed by the fact that they hadn't recognised him. Do you know who I am? He said. And the sailor turned back around to his mate and said, we are in big trouble now. We don't know where we are and he doesn't know who he is. Now, my story, as silly as that sounds, was originally used as an illustration of the loss of truth in the modern world today. And the point that that story is trying to make is this. When the truth is lost, we don't know who we are. We don't know where we're going. We have no identity or direction. At its simplest, truth enables us to grasp reality based on knowledge and experience. Truth says what is is and what is not is not. But it's not just concerned with who or what is right, but also about what is real, what is good. So how does knowing Jesus help us to discover that today? How does he help us to understand truth in a skeptical and confused world? In John 14, verse six, Jesus asserted, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In Jesus, we discover the revealed truth of God, his very character and nature. And in following Jesus and applying the teaching of his word to our daily lives, we can understand not only what is right but also what is real he is the way and also what is good because in him we have life in my room i keep uh, this quote from my whiteboard as a daily reminder to myself and it says the scriptures should only be read in an attitude of prayer trusting the inward working of the holy spirit to make their truths a living reality within us and that's my prayer and my hope for us today that the truth of god will become a living reality within us and we will be assured that our identity and the direction of our lives is secure in him god is truth